Hi folks and welcome back to the next installment of Master of Orion and you might notice a slight disconnect between this episode and the last one because Numbnuts here obviously didn't save the game after we recorded the last episode either that or I deleted it because when you save the game in this it just creates a new save every time automatically and uh, I was having a bit of a tidy out and I'm pretty sure I didn't delete any human saves but it's gone so I've played back to the turn just after where we left off I think I've made pretty much the same decisions no one's declared war on me yet so hopefully it won't feel too different anyway we are gearing up for a war it is about time we got some military muscle we've got a fleet here now opposite the Sakura stations here in Pegasus Prime What's our fleet got? We've got three destroyers, two cruisers, 4,000 overall power. That's not big enough yet. We need it bigger. I want at least five to 6,000 power before I go steaming in there. And it's probably not a bad idea to send a scout or something over. Just to have a little look first. We don't have a scout, but anyway, we shall think about that when the time comes. We've got a destroyer that's kind of spared down here. Uh, yeah, he, he is spare. Let's send him over. He was dealing with a pirate base, if I remember correctly. We've got another destroyer up here, and there was one. There is one here, out on my outer limits, where we're building a military outpost. So this is kind of gonna, gonna hold us up here, hold the line here, whilst we get sorted out. And these cities, colonies, whatever you wanna call them, should really have some sort of defenses on them, which I'll have to see about putting right, because I'm gonna leave myself militarily weak up there. Okay, why did that just jump over there? Oh, hang on, what's this? It's a scout! Awesome! I didn't think I had any. Well, yeah, he has been auto-scouting, I suppose. Brilliant! Let's fetch him over here. In fact, I'm going to send him all the way to Fascia Prime. I just want to keep him out of that fleet, because when Our they join together, it's discovery. easy to forget that he's got there. You don't get, in a, I get a warning saying fleet needs orders or anything. So that's some new just armor we've just discovered. Which is nice. What should we get next? Genetic mutations. Well, that's not bad. Terraforming. It's always kind of useful. Xenology. Alien management center. We are going to prepare for war. So, I don't know. A battle scanner. What's that? Let's go for that. Fantastic. It's cheap. Upgrade the few ships. We are running a bit more of a, a surplus now. We've got some colonial revenue services come online and stuff. What's this place? Lomar's just built something. Got a nice little colony going here, getting up towards full strength. Pollution. Pollution's a problem. It's going to build up. Catch me out. Uh, let's have a look. Research. Get some research going. Get a marine barracks because having troop ships is pretty essential. And you better get a toxic processor on the job as well. And after you've done all that, I'll have a cruiser. In fact, yeah, I think we'll go for a cruiser first, thanks. Get some power. Now, I sent this guy over here. He can actually build on these gas giants a harvester, which only provides a credit or two per turn, but it all adds up. And the other option is to spend 20 turns building that, converting it into a, a large me, barren planet. And it can be useful. You can colonize that and... You know, every single colony you have does contribute towards quite a bit. There's our first troop transport. We're going to start gathering these in here. I'm not going to keep them with the main fleet. Because when you invade a planet, it sends every single troop transport in that you have available in that fleet. And, you know, if you've got 12 transports in there, but you only actually need one to conquer the planet, four units of marines, it uses all 12 and those ships are gone. It dumps all the marines on the surface. Now, the marines aren't gone. They exist on the surface, and you can rebuild more troop ships to transport them off again. But it's a, it's a bit of a roundabout way of doing things. So this looks like a, a nice dump we've settled. Like, what is it? It's toxic and it's poor. Okay. Toxic we can fix with a toxic processor. And then we're going to need some money... And then we're going to need some biospheres. In fact, biospheres first. Yeah, it's only a small one. So, 
We are gearing up slowly and really just spamming colonies. That is the tactic. I have got the gist that that is the most important thing you can do in the game at the moment as it stands. I've got plenty of command points now as more and more starports are coming online. So I'm building military outposts. Now it may seem like a bit of a waste of time and credits because they do cost maintenance to build them in a backwater place like Gav's down there. But I have found that it's actually pretty handy to have them dotted around because you can then upgrade any ship that's passing through at the time. And if you only have them out on the frontier, then it can be a long way between upgrades and they help repair things faster as well. So they are handy to have. And I think later on there's a tech that you can get which actually boosts your command points by, I think is it two per starport? Not starport, uh, military outpost. I think, might be wrong, might have misread that, Our scientists but it's a good good reason to have them. Just uh, a minute okay, of your time, upgrade President. all those. What should we have next? Magneto, Gravitics, Warp, Dissipators, Radiation Shields for Planets, and ooh, Improved Shields. Let's go for that. Upgrade everything. What have we built there? Oh, another Troop Transport. Excellent. Get him gathered up. We're getting the invasion fleet ready. Now these, the Alkari, have been making noises recently. And they're not very happy. In fact, looking at this, let's, hang on, let's wait for our turn. Get the diplomacy screen up. No one's very happy. Look at this. These miserable bunch of bastards. They're all pretty angry. And I'm surprised at that because the Cylon, we had some nice deals going right at the start of the game. But it seems to be that just the bigger your empire gets, the more everyone hates you. And no one will trade with me. No one will make any agreements with me now whatsoever. And it, it, I don't know, it, it feels kind of limiting. But anyway, the game is in development, so I'm, I'm sure that will change before things go live, as it were. Well, let's hope so anyway. So we'll have another gas harvester on there for another credit to turn. It all counts. Um, later on I could reconvert it if I felt like it, but uh, I think there's probably enough planets for me to worry about colonising without converting all these as well. Okay, what have we got there? Colony ship? Yeah, here we go. We're just getting these decent places colonised. Stuff that's worthwhile. Is this... this? Uh, it's, it's not quite as bad a shithole as some of the other places which is always good now this crust prospect is great for anything with poor minerals as it gives an extra bonus so we get that first then we get the automated factories and then we do our usual biospheres uh, colonial revenue get that up and then a starport because we want to build that command point limit as high as possible Mind you, it's pretty decent as it is there. But that at least lets me to set and forget for quite a while before I have to come back and worry about that. Right, I'm just going to put the fleet here on sleep duty so we don't need to get worried about them every single turn. And then we shall move on. And it's time for the United Nations or whatever these lot are. Galactic Council. Come on, skip all this. Enough. So it's me and the Sakura up for the vote. Yes, withhold my vote for the yes. everyone abstains because I think I mentioned it last time. Vote for myself, I obviously. For humanity. Yeah, we've got a lead. Basically, I think you can win this, and it's kind of borne out from the other quick playthroughs I had testing, that as soon as you get up to 100 population or 100 votes, which I think is the same, you just vote and you win. And you can win the game without going to war just by spamming colonies and making them big. And I'm not sure that's quite the way it's supposed to work, as it, as it feels to your a bit of a... Spurred hmm, only by the most pressing... Uh, a bit of an af uh, overthought is the word I'm looking for. Let's decline that. Open borders? No. Just it don't go to war. advised of you to spurn me. Uh, I'll spurn you some more. Don't you worry. Um, yeah, the, the diplomatic victory. I, I, I don't like the this way that works at the moment, GM. and I hope they're going to rework that before the game gets uh, full release. Ah, human Republic, and, oh. and now the state, state of the, of the galaxy. galaxy. As you can see, I haven't turned these guys off. Technology. Oh, look at that. We're doing well. We're starting to, to get that ball rolling now, and have made I can kind of discovery. see us being unstoppable if we win the war against the Sakura. So we've got new shields. Uh, what do we want? 
a shield capacitor, which would be nice for our new goodies. Genetic mutations. Oh, it's only Fantastic. three turns. Get that done. Now, I should have a look at ship design. And we're looking at destroyers, cruisers. Now, this is quite interesting because you can you can change your ships around and do all sorts of things. You can change the course systems. There's a shield. See, it's got a class one shield generator. I can put a class three shield generator on it, which I'm assuming is better. And it doesn't take up any extra space. Yet that didn't automatically upgrade, which is kind of annoying. And again, probably it's probably because this is actually this is a standard cruiser, but it's a cruiser mark nine or whatever. And I bet it just upgrades the Cruiser Mark 1 blueprint. So, well, I don't know. I'm clutching at straws there, but perhaps they'll have that fixed. Space-wise, it's got a little bit of space left. I could add extra weapons or an extra slot for something. Heavy armor. Can we put more armor on? What does that do? We've still got space. We've got more heavy armor. Heavy armor's good. A battle scanner. Automated. Has it not got an automated repair? I can't fit one on anyway. Uh, ECM jammers. These are all pretty interesting stuff. Let's do that. We've got guns, bombs, fusion bombs, pulse on missiles. These all look pretty tasty. That's filled up some more space. Yeah, that'll do. It takes a bit longer to build because it ups the production cost, but it's quite nice. I can't see me building destroyers anymore. Now I can get cruisers. At the moment... Oh, I can't afford to upgrade those. That's expensive. At the moment... There doesn't seem to be an awful lot of point in building the smaller ships after you've researched bigger ones. Unfortunately, just seems to be the way it is. What have we got there? One, two, three, four cruisers, three, three cruisers, three destroyers. We need more. But look at the power. It's going up nicely. These guys are all right for anything that matters. I'm going to sacrifice. This is my main ship producing planet. If I build a neutron collider for even more production, we can then throw out very quickly. Where's the cruiser? See, it's taking 11 turns for a cruiser. It should be even faster with a neutron collider. Right, what's next? Gavs, Ossiad Prime. Nothing, nothing sensible to build here. This is a proper dump. Can I do a crust prospect? No, I've already got one. I can build a moon lab for some extra research, so we'll have that. Pollution was, um, I don't think there's anything to worry about. So this is one of these places that's just turning into a bit of a dump and not a lot I can do with it. But actually get a marine barracks going and then I can use it to churn out troops pretty regular. So that's quite handy at least. So we're moving on. Right, let's see what there is. Oh, what have we built there? Colony ship to go to go where exactly where did i have in mind for that you know when i build these things i always have a plan i always think yep i know where i'm going to send that i've got just the job for it and now i can't think where the hell that was supposed to go i could send him over there there's places out on the outer rim could do with populating that's awful this is a volcanic place that's not very nice that's settled now okay well it must be one of these it's all right Volcanic, horrible, small, toxic, abundant. That's not too bad because I can fix toxic places. Oh, sod it. I'll do that. And back here. Well, I could churn out more colony ships. I've already built some troop ships here. As you can see, the Marines are starting to build back up. What can we go with? Moon lab, bit of science. I like that. And cruiser. Let's get a cruiser going. Take a long time to build, but doesn't matter. Right, done. Who else needs orders? And we've got a couple of troop ships coming at Sol. Uh, pollution's getting a little bit nasty. And we shall just get a... Where's the cruiser? Another cruiser queued up after that. Keep churning them out. And as soon as I can get battleships... Well, battleships are awesome but um, a little bit unnecessary at the moment, I think. I should really get the troop ships ready there before I go to war. But we can have a turn fighting and stuff. Let's get another cruiser in, and then shall we just go for it? Yeah, it'd be good to get some fighting going on. So, now what's building? This is another dump over here. A radiated dump. Um, I can fix that radiation, though. With the radiation shield, I don't need two scientists in. 
Don't need to worry about food. That's going to max out on population soon. So let's have... Do we have the, we have the radiation shield? That'll help. And from there, we can make... Do we have marines on this place? I'm guessing... Oh, I'll need one of them. I'm guessing we have marines, but... I can't... Well, I must do. I must do. The moon lab. And then, does it have decent production? No, it's not amazing. Well, let's go with that. And then we shall think about our next step. Maybe a colony ship and just get that colonised. Uh, it's actually, for a shithole, <laughs> it's producing quite nicely and getting these guys populated up. Go on then. As it's just going to max out anyway, we may as well have a colony ship and do the other one as well. And then I can make more useful things at my proper planets. You finished doing all that. There's Orion with a 55,000 strength. Yes, I don't think I'll be worrying about that. But I will build a military outpost here. Because when I do send a fleet to go and kick this guy's ass and take all his secrets and have a lovely planet, it's nice to have an outpost here that I can just... One last chance to upgrade the fleet before I send them to their doom up there. Our scientists have made a new Ooh, terraforming. Discovery. That's quite nice. Now what can we get? Uh, planetology. Gas giant compression. Artificial planet construction. That's very Excellent. useful. Present and it'll tie in nicely with that guy finishing his job. So terraforming is nice on a planet that you don't really intend to use for much else, for building-wise, because it takes a long time, sucks some time up, but it is actually pretty handy. And you get a much better planet out of it at the end. So anything that I'm not planning to build hordes of ships with... Ooh, what have we got? What have we got now? One, two, three cruisers, four destroyers. That, well, it's a good strength. Have I got another cruiser on the way anywhere? I thought I had one somewhere. There's a troop transport. What's here? No. No, no, no. What's here? Nothing. Uh, just a troop transport. I thought I had a cruiser on the way. What's that thing? That's a colony ship. Uh, these are just scouts. Shall I just go for it? Right. One more turn. One more turn. Actually, what's this building? Come on. I'm going to see what this is building. And see if I can very quickly... Oh, no. It's a, it's a collider. Never mind. I was going to buy that if it was building one. And that's doing a spaceport, starbase thingy. All right, then. Uh, did I have a scout turn up? The idea was to send a scout down there first. There's no sign of him anywhere. Oh, to hell with it. Let's pile in. I've had enough of this. This is, this is proper diplomacy. This is where you dial someone up on the phone and you tell them to sod off. <laughs> right. Your great nature will be your unmaking. Oh, yeah, we will see about that. First off, there's a scout there. Ooh, upgrade. Let's kick ass first and kill that thing. I'm not going to bother going for a fight. I'm just going to simulate that because there's no chance an <laughs> unarmed scout can even do me any damage. So what can I upgrade? I can upgrade a destroyer. Can't afford to upgrade my cruiser. But we'll have that. That counts. I won't move in this turn. We shall get ready. And then my troop transports won't be far behind. There's only one road he has into me. I believe. That's good. And this is a good one to hold as well. Now, let's get going anyway. Let's move this. I'm going to bring him. Oh, there's only gas giants to go and farm. There is. I'm going to send him down here first. What's that? Colony ship. So, let's see what the Sacra do. If they send their fleet out to face me, it'll be a laugh. Actually, I can see the damn fleet there. Why haven't I clicked on it? Tells me exactly what the power is. 4,200. That is quite typical because the AI are really, really bad at building up fleets beyond a certain point. So let's fly over here. Let's kick this thing's ass first. Get rid of the space station. Military outpost. Um, I'll, I will go tactical because the AI does sometimes send all those destroyers in suicidally. So let's just quickly do control one. Make those a group. Send those guys over there. I want control two. Make those a group, right? Two separate groups, which would be nice if it was formed like this to start with, but it's not. So get these destroyers in. I'm sending the cruisers in. They are much better tanks. They can take the hits on the shields. 
Hopefully that'll be uh, the one with the upgraded shields at the front. If there's any clear way of telling. Right, you are far enough over there. You can get going now. Wait till the first wave of missiles comes out. There goes the cruisers. Right, you just blink in with their warp disruption things or whatever they're called and get shooting. Does not look quite tidy. All right, that was probably a little bit overly cautious of me. Maybe we didn't need to do that tactically after all, but who cares? We're going to have a proper fight next turn. And speaking of which, it is time to bring in the troop transports, all of them. Now, I won't be sending all of them into the planet, hopefully. Not that it matters if I do, but let's get it done. It's on. It's a fight. Oh, he's running off like a big coward. I don't know. You just can't get the enemies these days. So let me get a space factory built first, because that's just going to nip out there and build me a space station, which is quite nice. But however, he's not going to get away with that. I don't need to... Oh, hang on, there's a big fleet over there. What the hell is that? Oh, it's still only 4,500, even though it looks like it's got a cruiser in it. Yeah, it's one cruiser. I don't want the two to meet up, so let's go and finish this guy off right here. And let's have a proper scrap. Okay, so he's got ni nine destroyers? Oh, crap. Um, right, okay. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to that. I was looking at the overall values. But I'm guessing that he just hasn't upgraded anything. Well, let's go and find out. Right, hit pause. Quite handy against the AI this. So we're going to have one group of those guys. Just dispatch them to there. And one group of cruisers. Get them forward. Right then, play. Is he coming out to meet me? Who are we going to kill first? We are going to go... I don't know why that blows up. There's, you sometimes see that in these battles. I don't know whether it's a... to signify something. Whoa! Right then. Engage. Engage. Everything at the big group first. The frigates I'm not too concerned about. But here we go. Oh, I've got a cruiser taking a right pacing over there. Come on, guys, you need to get in. Looks like we've got the destroyers. Look at that. Jumped in. Now everything onto the frigates. I don't want to lose any cruisers. That was pretty much a mincing, wasn't it? I think we've got them all nicely there. Not taking any losses. The beam weapons, I've noticed, certainly seem to be a lot shorter range, and you definitely have to get in close to mix it up with those. That was pretty tidy. So we've more or less neutralised the Sacra fleet now, because I can't see him sending his lone single cruiser against me. Well, that was nicely done. We take, took a little bit of damage on the cruisers, but they held. And I think we could quite easily mince another one. And can go flying down there. No, we won't, though. We won't. What we'll do, if anything, we might fly onto Slav Prime, although he'll have a star base and all sorts of defences on the planet there. But, well, let's get one thing done at a time. We've just built a colony ship here. For what reason, I have... Ah, yes, I do know. It's to go down there. Right. Uh, this needs definitely boosting up. Let's get this going. It's a desert, so it's not very good. It's not making any money. I, I don't care too much about the money. Ooh, terraform it. Haha, <laughs> that'll do the job. Right then, we'll do that first, and then we'll worry about what happens, what happens next. You, yep, you just go and colonize that. What's next? Four troop transports. I'm going to send them all in like that. And the next turn, we are going to invade our planet. Well, look at that. Just in time, he has managed to build a rush and waste all his money building a frigate. Well, don't mind if I do. I think we'll have that. Thank you very much. I'm going to attack this. He's got a star base and a frigate. Come on, we'll, we'll have a tactical fight because it, it looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Right, skip this. To be honest, some of these fights... Oh, let's just go in. No finesse on this one. None whatsoever. And we'll go in. We'll let the cruisers take the 
actually, this, uh, I don't know what's going to happen here. I was going to say, I'll let the cruisers take the hit, but the one in the front is the one with not very much health. Hmm. And I was going to say, I'll let them go in first and take the hits, but you can see destroyers flying faster. <coughs> Excuse me. And this makes a bit of a, a micromanagement job of higher tier battles because the faster ships go in first, they attract the enemy's attention, they get minced. Although those anti-missile missiles that my guys carry are quite tasty. And yeah, what it basically leads to is when you get to higher tier battles, it tends to be a lot easier just to have every single ship the same type in the fleet, just because they go around at different at the same speeds then. And it doesn't really make for particularly interesting battles. And it'd be nice if there was more of a role for the smaller ships later on. So we can now see about invading this. He's got 10 marines. I've got 20 nuclear bombs. Oh, go for it. I can't resist. Look at that. <laughs> that was nice. I told you this was the human way, didn't I? We're just going to nuke everything. So I, I, I've knocked his population down enough. I think I can do that with three troop transports. That's going to give me 12 marines. I've no idea what sort of quality his marines are at tech level. But I'll show you why this I, I do this. We can attack again. I'm going to invade here. Fingers crossed. That's uh, not too bad. Not too bad. So I've ended up with nine. So I can rebuild two of those transports. But that's the reason I didn't send them all in. Because, as you'll see, the actual ships, the troop transports, totally disappear. They have, well... I don't know, it seems a bit iffy to me, but they've been used up to invade the planet and all the marines have been dumped on here. Not a problem with that because I can rebuild it, but it takes time and I've got a, a not very happy population. Do I have that alien thing yet? There's an alien control um, facility. No, there, I haven't researched that one yet. Maybe I should have done. Well, it doesn't really matter uh, what we are going to go. We'll get that on board because that's going to need doing. And we'll get going with the troop ships again. Nine turns? God, that's going to take ages. Well, let's just do one at a time then. Uh, they're not very happy anyway, so we'll leave it at that for now. It won't be long before I research the next thing anyway, I'm sure. So what's this doing? This is, this is a dump in the middle of nowhere. And I'm tempted to turn this onto auto build because it's just... It's just awful time to micromanage so many places, but we'll get it going. Actually, if I get it building a star base and then terraforming, that's going to keep it busy for a long, long time, and I won't have to come back and look at that for ages. What was this one? Sahu Prime, was it? No, it wasn't that one. It must have been Sahu 3. This is another rubbish one. However, I'll just set it off with a great big load of instructions. Give it some farms and a moon lab for a bit of research and a star base and terraforming and by the time i come back to that it'll be full to the brim it'll be polluted to hell and the population will be rioting because i've not built any infrastructure or something like that anyway you can see now i have one solitary troop ship left and we will is that repairing at the planet it might be. Well, I'll see if anything comes there and I can fly out and block it anyway. But yeah, I guess it, it kind of makes sense to keep that troop ship with that fleet anyway for now. So it doesn't get caught out. And we will probably have one more turn and then call it there for the episode. So let's see what happens in the last bit. I think already I've just broken the Sakura's power by doing that. They've got... A cruiser and a frigate, they're trying to rebuild, but it's it's going to be hard work now. And the AI is not very good at Our coming back from defeats like that. Discovery. Brilliant. We can now we can do all sorts. We can build artificial planets out of asteroid belts. That's quite nice. Now, where is that uh, alien thing gone? Xenology, it's in there, right? That's the one. Alien Management Center. Yeah, we need that Terrific. now. <laughs> we definitely need that now. I've got unhappy aliens on me. Right, okay. So we fly across here. Actually, let's just give it a proper destination. It's going to send it over there. At the same time, I'm going to send my fleet 
I'm sure that's repairing. I'm sure that's repairing at the planet, but I'm going to send it there, block anything that comes, and that can get a space station built on here as well. Oh, I know I said that was the last turn, but one more. It's, it's just too addictive. It really is. I can't just leave it at that. I've always been bad at that in all the Civ games. You, know, you think you'll just jump on for a quick half hour and play, and then you think, ah, oh, yeah, but I've just got to, I've just got to invade Greece, and then I've just got to invent nuclear weapons, and then I've just got to have one more turn, and oh crap, six hours have gone, really? Oh damn. Anyway, we'll try not to get it as bad as that. I'm sure you'd love a six-hour video on this. I don't think my uh, my PC would be up to rendering that in one go though. Uh, yeah, we're just going to put you on guard. Anything else needing orders? Colony ship arrived. It's getting to be a good place to leave it. We've got most of our known planets colonised. Oh, hang on. What was that? Was that... Yeah, it's normal. It's just not a very nice place to live. So, crust prospecting. And then automated factories. Get some biospheres. And I'm tempted to say that... Do I get one more? Oh, I do. Then we'll set it off with a star base. And that will keep you busy for a long time, my son. Right. Damn it. I've got to stop pressing that next turn button. Okay, I'm going to set the orders. And then we're going to stop. And that's going to be it for this episode. Economic advice. One of our colonies is being polluted. Well, this is a jolly thing to leave it on, isn't it? Sold to. Yeah, it's a shite hole. It really is. Right. When you've finished that... There's nothing nice I can build to reduce that. So I'm just going to have to do pollution cleanup. And we'll get going with that. Okay, it's getting up to size now, isn't it? Uh, in fact, I can, I'm can. i just going to dump you into there. Because it's not going to be long before this maxes out. And I could build more colony ships, but I'm not too bothered about that. Okay, well, thanks for the warning. We'll get that sorted out. We've built a cruiser. Excellent. Where are we going to send you? I could send it to the... I should probably send it to the main front. Sort the sacra out before we worry about anyone else. Makes sense, doesn't it? Go on, then. I've just realised, actually, I've, I'm a bit low on troop ships. I know the idea was to build some there. What are you building? You're building a star base. Uh, I'd better get some marines kicked out. I'll do this now, because then I'll otherwise forget before the next episode, and... As you can see, it's just dragging this out longer and longer, and I get caught up and never actually get round to finishing. And once again, we're going to just postpone you building that cruiser. We've got another job for you here. Troop transports. This, actually, the troop transports, these are the things that slow down your conquest. Yeah, I thought I'd forgotten to do that. Thank you. Um, this might be the reason the troop transports gets used up when you invade, because... You can't just then take a, a load of transports and then just sweep rapidly across space, just dropping marines off and destroying things in three or four turns. Maybe it's designed to use up the transport ship, so you have to spend a bit of time restocking, rebuilding before you go on to the next one, just to stop you building up a stack of doom in the way of a navy and then just sweeping across an enemy and not giving them any chance to recover. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it would be a, a, a good excuse, wouldn't it, for, for more gaming as to why that is the case. A very good excuse, even if it's uh, a complete oversight. But anyway, right, there we go. We're going to stop it there. We've got a good navy, which is going to get reinforced soon. We've got an enemy scout coming in to meet his doom. They do that a lot. They, they, they mass produce scouts and then totally waste them. And I don't know why, but I've, uh, I've let Wargaming know a bit of feedback about this where I think things can be improved. And that's definitely one thing the AI can do better. We'll see that a lot before this playthrough's out, don't worry. Um, but anyway, enough of that. We've got massive pollution on Sol 2. Uh, just because the one decent planet I have in my empire, I have to turn into a shithole because, hey, that's what humans do. <laughs> Anyway, other than that, the war is going well against the Sakura. I'm fairly confident we're going to beat them. We'll just get built up and repaired and go and finish the job next time. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Do stay tuned. Let me know your questions and thoughts down below. I hope you're still enjoying it, and I'll catch you on the next one.